uh, welcome to our Black Soldier Fly production unit. This is where we do the Black Soldier Fly uh, and manage organic waste, mainly to produce uh, animal protein, that is uh, Black Soldier Fly larvae, and uh, organic manure. So this is again where uh, organic fertilizer production starts. So I'll take you through shortly in a, in a few minutes of how we do it. Uh, here we collect eggs from from the adults, as you'll see later in the from the insectarium. So after we get the the eggs, we place them in uh, waste, organic waste, and from there is when they hatch and drop into into the organic waste, and immediately they'll start feeding from there. And that uh, for black soldier fly, the larvae stage is the only stage that they feed so once they feed uh, they grow to about this size and uh, this size now is enough to be utilized as 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 animal protein either directly to your uh, chicken mostly they do well with the the larvae and you can dry them to feed your fish and also the dried form you can uh, you can formulate it into other feeds for pigs, cows, goats, name it. Yeah. So once we harvest the larvae, we also get the organic manure residue, whatever is left from the organic waste after the larvae have uh, have acted upon it, is called the uh, frass. It is an organic fertilizer in itself, but uh, for us we take it and fortify it now and add other organic components. For it to become a complete fertilizer with all the nutrients, both macronutrients and, and uh, micronutrients. This is our insectarium. This is where we we cage the, the adults. Once they reach pupa stage, we put them here and they start emerging as 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 in adult insects now. The adult black soldier fly. So what we do inside here is that uh, we this is where they produce, they reproduce. That is, they mate. Uh, after mating, they lay the eggs. And uh, the beautiful thing about this fly is that uh, the only feeding stage is at the larvae stage. So at this stage, it only takes water. So we provide it with water. And uh, we also do a smelly substance. Uh, we put some smelly substance here to lure it to lay eggs uh, there. Because uh, uh, its psychology is that it cannot lay eggs where the young ones won't get the feed. And because it deals with waste, so you have to put a, a substrate that is smelly so that it can lure it to, to, to lay eggs from there. So from there we collect the eggs and hatch them on uh, the other organic waste and, uh, and we are good to go. So this is the multiplying stage of, of this insect because uh, one adult fly can lay from 300 to about a thousand eggs, depending on the size of the pupa or the size of now the, the adult fly. So here what we do is that we we only sanctify like 10% of the larvae that we produce and put them now back into the cycle. So from here we are able to get a lot more eggs and we are able now to continue with the cycle like that, like that. So this is where we produce the eggs get the eggs, introduce the waste. After they do the waste, we'll now get our animal protein and, uh, and the organic manure, which will now, I'll show you where we fortify it.
so uh this is the final stage of uh, production of organic fertilizer so here we get the frost from the black soja fly unit which is the, the organic manure the residue after wale wadudu wamekula takataka whatever is left is manure so the manure we bring it here under this composting sheds where we now combine it with other organic components to now get a complete super fertilizer which uh, has both macro and uh, micronutrients so the process here we use the bokash process which is a very exothermic process so we use dry matter we use manure frost from the bsf we combine even uh, other waste materials like uh, charcoal dust ash and bring them here so in about uh, 16 to 20 days the manure will be ready uh, and uh, after that now we package it and and sell it to farmers as organic manure so this process is purely manual from from the start to the end and uh, we really like it because uh, it creates a lot of jobs for our youth so if you can see from um, from our waste collectors back in the market we pay them uh, the transportation of the waste to here it's also another source of employment uh, the actual now um, feeding and the management of the black soja fly production unit we also have employed two people there and uh, during the turning and uh, the preparation of this fertilizer at least uh, one shed like this one this partition you'll need about 6 to 7 people so you can imagine when we are at full production we we all, we create a lot of jobs here the good thing with this uh, organic fertilizer is that uh, it's even more of a soil amendment so it is very uh, good in uh, correcting the soil acidity and also in increasing the microbial uh, uh, aspect of of your soil because the reason why we use a lot of uh, more fertilizer each planting season is because uh, the acidity in the chemical fertilizers kills the microbial life which is responsible for breaking down the organic matter into nutrients that are that can be uh, absorbed and uptaken or utilized by by the plants so now we are forced as farmers to go and look for food for the plants instead of the soil feeding the plant so this product will help you uh, amend your soil give it the potential and the ability to manufacture nutrients and food for the plants so within the first season because it is a fertilizer you will see good results and improved results and also uh, with time the more you use it the less you'll have uh, the need to go and buy more fertilizer even at magugu and the weeds will show you how how your your your, your soil is is doing uh, apart from it now increasing productivity in the aspect that i explained it also it is also very affordable because uh, a bag of 50 kg goes for about uh, 1800 shillings that is the whole sale price we we sell at 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 the farm gate and uh, for an acre you only need two bags maybe if you are doing cabbages or other vegetables heavy feeders you you will need at least three bags so that you can have a uh, maximum productivity so and again uh, for a farmer for the experience we've had with farmers they really like it because uh, they are able to cut cost and at the same time improve uh, production per unit of land so maybe an acre where they were producing 8 8 bags now it is moving to 12 and this is on we are yet to see again uh, around our area the users who have interacted with it this season um they have reported a lot of resilience in terms of uh, uh, water capacity retention so kwenye ulipata kiangazi megonga sana whoever used this at least there is something uh, they can harvest from there